Got a fish. Saw the bobber go down. He ate the shrimp, whatever it is. And it is windy out here. It's like a hurricane here in southeastern Ohio. I'm getting alerts all over. We're after channel cats. And that's what we got right here. Just a little old tiny channel cat. Fun size. There you go. A little old channel cat out here in this crazy wind. It's crazy because Tycoon Lake never has white caps. And we've been seeing a lot of white caps through here right now. And uh It was pretty nice when I first got out. We've had rain on and off today. I got to digging for some red worms in the backyard and uh, tried them for a little while out here and it seemed like every every time I would throw it out, it would get cleaned. Man, this wind's crazy. So uh, we're using some shrimp. I think this one right here might have a fish on it. No, I think it, it might just be laying flat here. Okay, this one has a fish on it now. There we go. Got him. Ain't been out there but a second. Another little old channel. It's about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than the last one there. Just some uh, pre-cooked shrimp from Walmart. I'm hooking it one time through the tail. And got it sitting about four, maybe five foot deep out there. Just having a little bit of fun today. So the initial plan was I was going to free line both of them. But when I would do that, it was like it was pushing me into all these lily pads out here. Everything's completely grown up now. So it was kind of pushing me into them and I couldn't keep my line down. I was getting wrapped around them. So I thought to put these floats on would probably help out a little bit. It would get them away from the boat. I can see them whenever these waves ain't blowing over top of them. And it seems that this is really working right now. This pole right here was clean a minute ago when I pulled it in. And I'm not catching to eat today. I'm just trying to catch some a nice size channel cat or whatever's going to eat the shrimp out there. Which I was ta I'm targeting channel cats because this lake isn't known for flatheads or blue cats. Even though they have been caught here, shrimp's not an ideal bait for them. I wouldn't imagine, but fish will eat anything that smells like fish or anything that's some kind of meat. The anchor's getting pulled tight right there. We're still drifting back and forth a little bit, but when I walk up on the front of the boat there, it slacks it out. About fell in. I just had to get a video in. I went catfishing this weekend. Not a whole lot of action. Usually when a tournament's going on, you don't catch a whole lot. But uh, shout out to my buddy Jeff Spalding that was in the tournament. Place pretty decent compared to the how many boats was out there and the turnout. Congratulations to the winners. I don't know how this audio is going to turn out. Hopefully it's all right. Because I am talking really loud just to be able to keep up with the wind and how it's blowing out here. I've only got a couple hours to fish today. I uh, started pretty late because of the rain earlier and it's Mother's Day, so I uh, took the wife to do some things. We got out a little bit, so happy wife, happy life. All right, we got a bobber down here. Thank you, got it. Yeah. Oh, that's a better one there. Unless I'm pulling him through some stuff, he feels like a better fish. Oh man, he's all wrapped up in my other line. There we go. Oh, come on. Look at this wind. Oh yeah. There he is, come on up. Come up. Oh, I know you're not very big, but the biggest one I've caught today. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh man. He's all wrapped up in my other line. All right, guys. It's the biggest one so far. He'd probably go about four or five pounds. Oh, and he's feisty. And he's got other people's lines wrapped all up in him. I think I'm gonna try getting them lines and stuff off of him. But uh, I believe this to be a male. But uh, yeah, there's some pretty good ones out there. This one's just uh, kind of old. You can tell. He's not, they're not very big in here anyway. He's got a little bit of a gut on him. Um, it could be a female. But not really sure. This wind's just pushing me all over the place. My other pole's all wrapped up over there. But uh, I'm going to try putting him back in the water. And catching a couple more out here. Right. Alright, so i got another fish on here. And i got my hook kind of wrapped around there I don't think it's very big but not sure might be yeah it's actually not a bad one yeah that's a pretty good one right there yeah buddy there's just another one there Oh, there's a big fish right there. Right beside where that shrimp's at. That looked like a giant channel cat. Kind of be scared to hook into something like that on this. Oh, stay on there. Man, this is the best one so far. I don't think he knows that he's hooked. He could be wrapped up in some stuff down there, but something tells me it's a nice one. On the old Mitchell 300, doing work since the 1800s. It came in a little too quick to be huge. digging oh, oh, oh come on holy cow this is a digger you gonna show me what you are goodness gracious this fish might be pretty big not even a giant it's just a good strong fish fighting on a little tiny rod and all tangled up in the other line <sighs> definitely the biggest one so far there we go ow he's biting the crap out of me it's a pretty nice fish right there uh, I think him to be a male. He might not be, but uh, generally, if they look like a male to me, then I call him a male. Uh, I don't think the same thing about people by no means, but yeah, I'm going to check his weight real quick just to kind of see how much he weighs. Let's see what it says. This is saying 6.2, so minus 1.3. He would be right around 5 pounds. Not bad for a little old Lake Channel cat. All right, bobber's down again as soon as it hit the water there. Oh. Yes, sir. Did you stay on? Yep.
actually running in towards me a little bit there. This Mitchell don't have the greatest ratio as far as reeling in. Just a small one. Uh, I hear you. All right, guys, it's pouring down the rain. We're going to pull up anchor and get it going. All right, guys, so I finally got the boat out of the water. I'm soaking wet. Had a blast out there catching those little fish and those little rods. But anyhow, I wanted to recap from my last video. Um, I was talking about the size of suckers that you can use as bait and uh, 12 inches was incorrect i gave bad information there i got my information from the odnr website and just to clear things up that was a bait seller's license and it was 10 inches you're not allowed to sell anything that's 10 inches or more as far as suckers go so i was fishing completely legal anyway even using 12 because there's no size requirements on suckers and stack on seat belts driving me crazy there's no size requirements for what you're able to use as far as suckers in the Ohio River. You can catch them up to 25 inches long if you have them that big around you and you can use them as bait. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, like, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you in the next one.